Pancreatic cancer is the most common tumor, fourth most common tumor in the UK, and worldwide it is, it is the sixth most, most common tumor. So today's lecture, we'll be talking about the pancreatic cancer. More specifically, we'll be talking about the risk factors like the demographic factors like the uh, you know the relationship of the age the relationship of the ethnicity and then we'll be talking about the genetic factors because uh, the tumors they're more commonly related to the genetic factors so we'll be talking about the genetic factors which are responsible for the development of the pancreatic cancer in today's uh, lecture we'll be talking about the different histopathological uh, cancers like what are the ductal adenocarcinomas what are the ampullary carcinomas what are the head of uh, the carcinomas which are uh, most commonly involving the head of the pancreas and then we'll be talking about the uh, cystic tumors like the serous uh, cyst adenomas and the mucinous cyst adenomas, the, the other tumors like the neuroendocrine tumors and obviously the carcinoid tumors as well. Uh, we'll be talking about the clinical features uh, of the pancreatic cancer, how the patient uh, is going to present to you with a pancreatic cancer and the general features and most commonly the specific features. Then we'll be talking about uh, the investigations like if a patient is coming to you uh, with all those symptoms of a pancreatic cancer how are you going to investigate that ca case like starting from the baseline investigations which baseline investigations are more important clinically to make a diagnosis of the pancreatic cancer we're talking about the pancreatic markers as well we know that the um, uh, tumors like mostly uh, they have got some kind of uh, tumor markers so we'll be discussing about that as well uh, then i will be talking about those tumors which are operable and those tumors which are inoperable so what are these treatment strategies for the operable tumors like resectable tumors and non-resectable tumor and how are you going to differentiate actually how are you going to decide if the tumor is resectable or not so depending upon the resectability of the tumor what are the surgical options are for the resection like what is the uh, pancreatic odidinectomy the pyloric reserving pancreatic uh, pancreatic odidinectomy uh, then also we're talking about the uh, total pancreatectomy we're like talking about the whipple procedure which is a kind of a lengthy procedure and uh, you know um, what is the difference between the pylorus preserving pancreatic odidinectomy and what uh, about the Whipple's procedure then obviously I'll be talking about the role of the adjuvant therapy and those tumors which are not resectable which are not inoperable then what kind of palliative therapies like medical palliation and surgical palliations we have um, the options available in case of the unresectable tumors so uh, we will be discussing about all these things in the detail uh, lecture. We have got other lectures on our side related to the general surgery and other uh, principles of medicine as well. You can go there, get access uh, and enjoy the lectures. So for the detailed lecture, keep watching scadia.com with Dr. Sana Khan.